Rebel with a cause. BK all day, baby. It's rebel season. The real rebels are back. I got the mind of a king. You should really protect them. Everybody talking, but rebel really the next. I got the mind of a king. It's bread to never take this. Slavery, fake hip hop, you dead if you were racist. I got the mind of a king. You could never replace this. Blood from the mud, no love, so I'ma say. I got the mind of a king. I know where I am from now. I'ma wake him up, you keep him sleeping, it's up to me I got the mind of a king Black African power, we back with another one Peace to the gods, peace to the goddesses I'm the host rebel with a cause I'm Ken Wado Akil and this is Rebel Roundtable. Welcome, welcome. Have a seat and sit black. Come join, come join the gang. Uh, we got we got Green Love Kitchen in today. Green Love Kitchen. So they gonna be here any minute. We're gonna talk about how how the power is hidden in the food. Right. God put the medicine in the food. Right. And the white man don't want us to know this. Right. But what's going on, King? Not much. Still out here on the grind, man. Trying to get it. Still, yeah. still out here for my people, man. Stand down and true to the gang, brother. That's the only thing I can do. And true to myself. That's what's up. I heard uh, you going on tour soon. Oh, yeah, man. Y'all going to be hitting other states? We'll be hitting other states. We'll be, uh, we'll be hitting uh, here in Florida again this upcoming weekend for MLK. Yes, sir. We're going to be in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Of course, we're going to hit that shot town. we in Alabama. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, goddamn, we hit Detroit and New York, too. You know what I mean? And L.A. And it goes on and on. <laughs> <clears throat> the African uh, Alliance people call me with that. Oh, yeah. Word. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it, though, because I can't get my, I can't get my, my spot. Like, like they kind of played us. I don't know who run it now, but I had that spot three, four years in a row. Oh and, yeah. And and before COVID, the year before COVID, they told me I can't get it. For real? Yeah. And then now, I, I guess I'm a little too late, and they I can't get it again. So I don't know, cause everybody know my spot. Everybody. So in the back, where the dreads are cutting the coconuts, we right there to the right. And, and I think that was the most powerful spot to be in for gathering everybody who come there and right. for lucrative, uh, you know, we selling things. So the money was back there too. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm happy that the world's opening up though. Yeah, me too, man. And you know, Bobby Baruti, he gonna do his uh, Kabuka again this year. I talked to him at the um, Abaka Soon Soon. No, uh, Mama Marimba event. Yeah. Uh, it, when was it last Sunday? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, so I, saw I talked to Bob. I said, "Well, you are doing a, a, a Kabuku this year." Yeah, he gonna have it at the uh, street spot in November on the West End. So he ain't gonna be doing no no virtual stuff. You know what I mean? So happy about that. And also, he having a uh, book signing at the Black Dot, man. Yes, sir. Salute the. Black I'm gonna go to his house and purchase his book person personally. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna be able to make it, make it there. Yeah, though, back in soon, soon, man. It, man, it was live, man. Yeah, ain't been yeah. there since um, yeah, it shut that down. So a lot of people showed up to that one, man. That's and what I'm know. hearing. All these little events have a lot of people. More than it seemed like the the you know we want to come back outside. And it's, it's a different. Over. It's a different feeling from from this virtual shit. Yeah, I need that. <clears throat> yeah, we doing this, but we we not used to this virtual shit. Nah, it's different. You just, it's a feeling, it. man. You just feel feel the energy. You know what I mean? And you know, Mama Marie, but she was she was smiling all through the event and everything. Yeah, you know? That God energy up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. Right before COVID, yo, I'm telling you, yo, Black Power was perfect. <clears throat> it was perfect. Every event over. 
crowded. I'm talking in every state I've been to. Right. Everything was online, son. It, it seemed like we was like spreading out just the message and and and, and the science. And, and you know, right. the hits were A1. You know what I mean? I couldn't complain. And everybody was making money. And, and you know the thing that. about that though? You know the thing about that 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 talk you no know, that I seen that I seen witness, it seemed like I ain't gonna say we took advantage of that, but it seemed you no know, how they could just take that shit away from us, man. In a snap of a finger, just right? Like motherfucking that. Exists. Everybody go home. Man, man, ain't no damn on the man. But now nah, you talking about the power of the white man to stop right. reality. He stopped the reality. Yeah. That shit crazy. I'd rather take my chance. <laughs> Me too. And that's what we did, by the way. Uh, C-19, my bad. Yeah, because, you know, we were still, still doing our poetry shows and everything slightly opened up and everybody was still scared. You know what I mean? That's you why I like Ross. Love Ross. <clears throat> you come in a vegan dream with a mask on. And oh, yeah, he yeah, no, no, sell no, no. it to you. He'd be like, Yo, <laughs> yeah, get your mask off, man. <laughs> well, uh, Rasha, look get at you, crazy, man. Don't wear that mask in here. <laughs> Salute to Ross Isis, man. He wanted to real. He's out to vegan dream, brother Ross. One love, brother. It was all a dream. I just saw him today. <clears throat> it's in Kosi birthday, so let's give in Kosi a Black Power salute. He born Black on Malcolm power. X birthday. To the final hour. Salute to Malcolm X, too, man. We got mad work to do. We we doing it slowly but surely. Yeah, we doing it, man. Yeah. You know, it take you know you gotta grind, man. It take de dedication, man, and, and a lot of stumping the ground, stumping this pavement, and a lot of bites on the hand. Right, right. Cause everybody ain't right, even though we black power. We look right. at it like we we have to help you almost, and a lot of people today don't appreciate the help. Every, everybody in YouTube land, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notifi notification bell. Rebel Vision Television, Rebel, Rebels Roundtable. Come on through. And Queen's Law is coming. J and M lining it up. So Jeez Queen's Law is coming. Young G's, Young Gods, and Think Champs is going to debut on this channel. Right up. Who? who, who who are the sisters that um that are gonna be on Queen's Law? Uh we got we got Ma Queen, Hepshepsu, <clears throat> we got Shelly Amaset, uh we got She-Ra, that's uh Sundiata's queen. Oh She-Ra, oh, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy. I'm looking for an elder. I wanna What about Fondi Feet? She still go eat? Yeah, you Fondi know? Feet. Yeah, we gotta have her. That's just a hard man. I think she might be the elder that we need. Uh, and uh, two two young goddesses that we just met through Ross. At least one. Was, of them. Wasn't that the episode you you and your um, queen was on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a. Uh, that was like the first part. Like we were supposed to do two or three of them. Right, so right. Get that whole combo out. So that's coming to think champs too. But uh, definitely uh, one or two of them is going to be on the show, too. So we can have kind of every level, the youngin'. That's going to be hard. And then the elder. That's going to be hard. I just saw the logo. I just saw the logo. You see my eye? Are you, you know, oh, the really? scales. And Anubis is at her feet. Yeah. That's going to be a hard show, man. I can't wait. Yes, oh man, Rebel Rebel Vision Television, man, is gonna be a banger. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got a banger, form, but we gonna hang out those on the low until they are hunted. <laughs> but yeah, as far as uh, Rebels Roundtable, our joint, Dang Chance, Once Queen's Law, that'll be three good shows to to stand on. You know, uh, I can't wait to see the females speak though, and we are gonna start giving prizes to them. I, I see how everybody do. I saw Shelly doing it too, but yeah. I already knew. So we're going to do something like the next number, number. you know, the, out of the next 50 subscribers, I'm going to give them an umbrella 
or uh, a hoodie. Give me shea butter. I'll give me something from Aesthetics Apparel. Yeah, we're going to do because they they dealing with us early. So we appreciate that. So you are uh, gotta get back. You get that uh message of feedback we uh, got from the last show that I sent to you? Yeah, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I'm sad. That's dope. Yeah. I love that shit, man. That it shit hard, good. man. It feels good when people appreciate it. Yep. And they, yep. they know it's kind of no one's doing it like this. So no one really is patient enough to listen. So all our guests love that they get the they get the stage. And I love it like that too. Right, right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot you a text, man. We'll get offline. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, man. I'm happy, man. You know. But I ain't going to say I'm happy, man, because, you know, as long as my people struggling, man, yep. ain't nothing to be happy about. Nope. And that's straight up. Because we can be the only ones at the top. Right. I'm talking about in the black mind. If you get to a level. It don't feel good by yourself up here. Nah, man. Nah, you got to bring people up the mind. You got to bring people up, man. You got to bring people up, man. You got to uplift. Uplift your race. It's race first. It's back power. So, you know what I mean? And we could, we could you know, uplift people and, you know, make them feel better. And they, they have the next brother or sister that's out here. You know what I mean? That's how you build from generation, to generation to generation to generation. And so that's why we got what we, our people as a whole got to fucking understand. We don't understand. We so busy living in this motherfucking white man world and trying to be like them. You know what I'm saying? That's why we don't got no power as a whole. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. Uh, we Fuck, man, don't have I, no backing. We don't have no backing by the people. You know, they got to support everything black. Oh, yeah. But yeah, like I said, man, we, we got to support each other, man. We got to support each other, especially in, in this time and age, man. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something, man. Young no white people know that we are their enemy. That's why they act the way they do. They know that we the enemy. You know what I'm saying? So we got to think the same way. That's our goddamn enemy. Okay. That's man. our enemy, period. Now, if you watching... I keep telling y'all, we the smart brothers. You are my enemy, and we could break down how you systematically F with our economy, our health, our learning, our presence in the world. The white man loved that black male zine in business. Right. Government, police, the fire, you know, the fire engine. They love that we don't saturate where they be at, and they try to keep us out. Right. But they love that we not there, yo. We right. consider that an act of war. Right. So I'm waiting for anybody in another race to act like we spitting hate or venom or any of that. <clears throat> we smarter nah. than that. We know exactly nah. how the plan works, and we could. You can't. You can't be a shame. To say race first, or put your race first, or, or, or believe in black power. The, like you said, the Chinese believe in um, Asian power, or the, or the Asians believe in Asian power. Okay, they don't say it out loud, they just do it. They do it. And that's how they say it. We just saying it and never do it. And they doing it. You know what I mean? So this is crazy. We kind of got it backwards. We might have to stop saying black power and, and just do it. Because I used to say, as uh, soon as I get my conglomerate and I hire a thousand blacks without no other race, no one better tell me nothing. Because I've seen Google do it. I've seen Amazon do it. I've seen Macy's do it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we be mad places where we don't be presenting, you know, wherever we at. So yeah. that's white power to me. Every Arab store, that's Arab power to me. Yeah, I ain't hire one black person in the hood yet to work in the corner store. And they not. The Chinese man ain't hiring not one person to play with his uh, fruit market. You know, the fruit store, he be in there. He, I've never seen us in there. 
Yeah. So I don't want to hear none of that. They doing they doing what they supposed to do though. You know what I mean? I ain't even mad at it. Oh, me neither. I agree with you. I ain't mad at That's it. Exactly. You better keep it like that. Cause if your daughter see one of us, <laughs> your lineage is done. <laughs> you better keep us away from your daughter. And that's what it really be. Francis Cress Wilson said it the best, man. Yeah. It's genetic annihilation, yo. They got to be running from that. I used to tell people, yo, all we got to do is love white people when we can get rid of them, yo. What you mean by that? Have sex with all the women. Oh, yeah. That eliminate the half-breed. The half-breed. And then we make that half-breed go black. Again, we got to do some Yaku shit. Yeah, that yeah, that eliminate them. Period. They, man. Eliminate. they know that. They, the thing is, they know it too. They know it. They know it. So if you white and you watching this and then you mad, that's kind of the combo we want to have with you. We need a real white person in our show. That into the science of reality. We're not stupid. We see what you're doing. And right. even if you ain't doing it. The higher whites have the system linked to doing it. There's a reason we had the most abortions. Planned Parenthood was from the Democrats telling all black women now nah, you have the right, you have the yeah. right to sound good, but they really want you to kill Jesus. They know what I mean by that. Yeah. The Messiah. They ain't want black babies because we supposed to have like 60 million of us here. Yeah. That are staying at 30 for like 50 years. <clears throat> I sent everybody to him. So. Okay, cool. But they know, yo, we gotta come up, yo. We not in this, we not in the pie, the pizza pie. Right. We are topping on on the white slice. We don't have our own slice. Nope. But the thing is, we could we could have our, we could do it, man. We could do it, but you know, we just got a habit of, um, you know, I got to get mine, and that's it. I got mine. Well, before they say that I got mine, they have to say I'm not gonna take nothing from the white man. What? Because that's what we'd be man. doing. <clears throat> we'd be taking space, right? So if we made a supermarket, ain't that gonna fuck with Kroger? Ain't that gonna yeah. fuck with uh? You know, the normal supermarket that be in the, in the malls. Yeah. They don't want to get in the way. So our fear of the white man. Uh, I'm going to give all y'all a song that never came out that uh, Nas made. And for some reason, they try to ban the song. But it's called Fear the Black Man's Dick. <laughs> so go find that Nas song, Fear the Black Man's Dick. I'm going to Google, Google that shit. And you know what we talk about. They, they said he couldn't put it on the nigga album. Oh, you're supposed to go on the nigga album? Yeah. But you know, we still got it. So. That, oh, yeah, yeah. Rebels Radio coming too. So <laughs> it's coming. It's going to be an hour or two. Just straight, brilliant black music. And I'm going to have it like playing every Saturday, like at midnight or something. Let me know. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know when, when you do it so I can get down and push mm -hmm. do my little part. Nah, get all the uh, RBG artists know what's going on. That, that's going to be hard, too. Because now, when we was younger, the radio was ill. So we could just let it play for like two hours and do our thing. And then we had the hip hop coming on on purpose, you know, stretching Bobito, uh, uh, Funk Flex joint was even ill, Red Alert. Uh, we, we had a few. So we, we, I just want, we got to save the music. It's too Man. scattered. It's too scattered. What you think about um, them lyrics, um, that Kendrick Lamar song? I like, guess the video was tight. I'm talking, talking about the lyrics, man. Did you um, listen to it yet? I can't answer it because I heard it playing, but I, I wasn't close enough. I know Check it's it out, man. 
but I, I didn't listen to it in my house. He, he MCing, man. He MCing. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Check it out when you can. Him and, Cole, again. Is, him and J. Cole to me is yeah. the only two that could save the game. Yeah. Few of us. When you can just put up the video on YouTube and just listen to what he's talking about, man. He's spitting. He ain't playing with him, man. I heard that other joint where he said crackers in the line. He said, I'm going to treat these crackers like Jigger. Uh, I'm going to own everything. And then he, it was at the end of the verse, but I was shocked. I said, oh, see, he said crackers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew he was in our angle, but he said crackers. So, Right. Understand, they got to understand why we still say it. Because I don't want to hear no racial nothing. Nah, cause they still cracking our people, man, with the will. And we could prove it. Shit. Yeah. They got an answer to it. So, nah, I need the music to change. So, uh, everybody go cap Kendrick album, stream it. I'm going to put it on something on mine. So, I, I, I'm going to support it. I'm yeah, he, he, can, he really, really, you could tell, he, you know, like back in the day, he, he really got down, you no, know, you no, know, gave some thought, put some thought into what he's saying, man. That's what I'm talking about. Him saying, man, ain't no none of that bullshit, man. That dumb down music. Yeah. Oh, you know what I saw the other day? Speaking of that, what's that? Somebody threw the baddest bitch contest. <laughs> the baddest bitch contest. <laughs> yeah, but but you know you know what kind of chicks they looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm the baddest bitch. Fuck that. Fuck these other bitches. Yeah, Fuck these hoes. I get any nigga I want. I did, that girl. And it was like five, like a thousand of them came to the, whatever I was watching, It was that line looked it crazy long. And it was all type of us on the line. I ain't even seen no white girls. So it was all us. So it's called the bad bitch, the baddest bitch contest or something. We don't use these words, but that's what they called it. But all of them was almost ratchet. You know, the camera was going by, they was all trying to get on the cam. I was like, that's exactly what the white man did. It's right there. You see, my thing is, I ain't, I'm not really tripping on that. What I'm tripping on is, that's all you hear, you know what I mean? That's all you saw is just that one way, and, and that's what is getting pushed. It's just that. Now it's dope sisters out here, it's dope brothers out here. You no, know, there's no no um call with their craft, mm -hmm. but they underground now. It's not getting pushed. Remember the white man, your enemy. He gonna take the worst part of you and put it in the lights. He he and that's tired of us having the best of us in the lights. You turn into Ali, Malcolm, Tupac, uh, a scholar. If if we have the best up there, the kids are turning to gods again. Hold on, hold on. Before we go any, any further, let's give a special shout out to our ancestor, brother Malcolm X, Black Same. Power, Black Motherfucking Power. That's right, his birthrights today. We got Malcolm right here. He with us. You see him? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, we on. He back. He got all our back. Yeah. But yeah, man, you know, it's Brother Malcolm Mac Mac Mac's birthrights, man. A warrior ancestor, man. And this is our holiday. You know what I mean? I, sh I should have took off road today, man. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> they had to let you do it. Right. You know, when I was, um, I think I was about, I was 12 or 13. You know how you have to do the, uh, read the book and uh, do the book book report and all that and do a summary of the book? Mm-hmm. My father, um, you know, I, I was in, I don't I think I was in the seventh grade. I think I was about 12 years old. My father gave me that book to read. I read that book when I was 12, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, my father. Was, it was know. mandatory. Yeah, he was like, you gonna do a book report 
report on this. Boom, I did it. I read it. And I understood it. You know what I mean? He commented mm -hmm. with me about it. But yeah, all about biography from uh, Malcolm X. I read it when I was 12 years old. Yeah. Nah, it was mandatory. Everybody black knew they had to instill a, a black foundation. It's not racism. You you have to know your history and love yourself. Right. If you want to go in the world and have confidence and and, and a foundated presence, you gotta love yourself. Right. Are you gonna love, love anybody if you don't love yourself? Right. You're gonna give your love to who might not deserve it. Yeah, so you know the VIP poets wanna come on the show, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, we got Brother Sincere, we got Brother Poetics, we got She Bars in the house, we got Is Now in the house, we got, um, did I say Milk? Nah, not yet. We got Milk in the house. She Farrell. And She Farrell in the house, man, so that's going to be a dope Ooh, show, Ms. man. Farrell. We got to light it up. I mean, I you know I sent you the info, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's going to be powerful. hard, man. That's a powerful bunch right there. Oh, yeah, the VIP, the village. VIP, Village Inspired People, Poets. Exactly. Straight from the ATL, baby. Going to be on the Rebels Round table. Put that on the shirt. Television. It's going to be a dope show. We got um Dr. Inky next week, right? Yeah. Inky, yeah we got Dr. Right? Inky next week. Then the week after that, we got Baba Oshi, man, in the house, man. So we're yeah, yeah, rocking yeah. out, man. We're trying to bring y'all the gods, man. Word up, man. Um, I've been probably thinking with brother. After the Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Nah, I'm just saying everything you're saying to make sense after the fact. So it's all good for now. You be all good for now, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, uh, um, brother Sutek want to get back on the show, man. Sutek could come and be on it any, like, on the panel, man. Like on the panel. Word up. Well, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to yeah. holler at the brother, too. That's our elder, man. You know, I ain't even did, you no, know, he did so much work in the community up in New York, man. So uh, we was probably ticking on the show, you know what I mean? Nah, that's dope. I just want to see this keep going because it's a real, even if you don't talk about us, there's only a real small core of true black power yep. people. So I need all of them to eat. I ain't worried about nobody who want to be famous, playing guru or none of this other clown shit. Right. But the people I think is ill, I need them to eat. Oh, I need them to eat. Ill. Right, right, right. People I think is really black and really down for the people that'll bleed for us. I just I want them to succeed. Really right. Bad. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> every youngin I listen to talk to me, be naming people. I, I'm like, who are you talking about, shorty? Shorty, where'd you get that, my nigga? <laughs> and they and they all say the same thing. Instagram. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's that's where they get their stuff from. Social media, man. So they're just watching what's on TV. They're not looking for what they should be watching on TV. They're taking whatever they this, that the game is giving them. They gotta look past that. How are they at? Right. right. Me and Ross was talking about an event, and it's free to all the vendors. What? No, we going to throw it. Oh, but, okay. But the vendor is teaching his science. So it don't matter. You got a clothing line. Whoever come up to your table, you got to put them on on how they can get their clothing line. If you make belts, you got to put me on how to make a belt. If you write books, you got to put me on on how to get my book published or, or right. put me on to what your book is saying. But every booth is a teaching booth. Free. You, you got to want to do it for free. Right. That's the whole point. Come teach your science to the people who want it. One day, 10 hours. Well, I believe, like, if you know, if you out there selling your product, you should be able to explain your product, tell it what's, what it's about, and um, and how I can, you know, and, and what's good about it. You know what I mean? How can you sell something if you don't know your product? 
And I met people that sell stuff. No, they don't, know, they don't even know how to explain their product for real. <laughs> yo, yo, what's in this juice, brother? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, watermelon and some <laughs> other stuff. Um, it's good for you, though. That's not good, man. man. So, I was saying, could you get my uh, my uh, strong drink after the refrigerator? Uh huh, give me a second. Uh oh, uh oh, get my strong drink, man. <clears throat> uh oh. Green Love Kitchen in the building. The brother man. Hey, yo. Kitchen in the building. Yo, what's up, brother hey. man? How, how you be, man? Salute, salute, salute. Peace, God. Where you at? Where you at? I'm trying to get on. Trying to... We, we can see you. I can hear you. Not yet. Yeah. Uh, the mic got to come on. We can hear you, though. Peace, queen. Hey, how are there you? There we go. We can hear you. Peace, peace. Hey. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Y'all appreciate the invite. Nah, man, we appreciate you saving our people. Both yeah, I of you. Say. I say, Thank brother. You. I um, say. Let's get into it because we, we want to know you guys. Introduce yourself to the family, both of y'all, please. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm Javon, for those that don't know. One of the founders of Green Love Kitchen Restaurant in Lothonia, Georgia. You know, came a long way, taking care of the people, healing the people. Doing right by folks. I said I do it with my wife, other co-founders. She's right here. She can introduce herself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mudlin Green, and I am um, the principal chef and founder of Green Love Kitchen. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Is let me ask a question. Is I I, I, I see it says first form the table cafe in Marvin. Yeah, the Lithonia's first form the table ca uh, cafe in market. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when we first set it off at in Lithonia, uh, we partnered with Action Not Words, and we created a, a Ujima Gardens right in Lithonia. And yeah, we was teaching the children how to grow food, but we was taking the food from the garden and using it in the restaurant to feed the people. That was our first, you know, experiment with that. Then the second time we did an aquaponic system in the restaurant. But we built out, you know, the entire system where we had like, and that was a partnership with um, Loaf Aquaponics. Loaf Aquaponics. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we feed the people, bro. Farm a table. First one in Lithonia, food desert. And that was the main, that was our mission, bro. Like, that was the first reason why we came in Lithonia to take care of our people because we knew no one else was going to come. If you look at the socioeconomic numbers and all of that, the stats, yeah. Whole Foods is never coming. You know, they're not going to take care of our people's sprouts and all of these other Pro farmers. Yeah, they keep it for themselves, you know, but we know better and we take care of our own, you know. That's it. Nah, much respect to that. Um, let's get into y'all. Uh, how long y'all been together? <laughs> so, um, As a, yeah. It's going to be two decades soon, right? Yeah. Our eldest is 18. She's going to college in August. Salute, salute. I saw a picture yeah. of y'all family. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Thank appreciate you. it, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank appreciate you. it. Yo, what's good, family? How you doing, man? Yo, I ain't see the God in a minute, man. Hello, brother, man. How you been, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good, man. Good to see you, man, man. But I got, I got to see you in the flesh, man. I be trying yeah. to get over to the store, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's 90 degrees out here, baby. And, and we in the kitchen. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, man. I was I was telling Brother Rebel, man. I, I like the mom um, kale wraps, man. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. It's big enough yeah. to kale wrap for like 20 minutes already. But <laughs> man, appreciate y'all holding Thank it down. You. Just putting the young ones to sleep, you know, just you know, routine, you know, just to keep trying to keep that healthy, you know. Good. Right, right. Yeah, but um, yeah, we've been together for 19 years, going on 20 years, man. Met in New York. You know, in college, oh, yeah, yeah, we met in college, community college. LaGuardia, and, um, big up to LaGuardia. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Long Island City, Queens, and um, that was it. Like, we was inseparable, and then we started making money together. Like, we got great, great fortune with each other. Yes. You know, early. That's true. And we, we got our first car. Had, we had nothing, bro, nothing. Came, Zero. Went from a basement in Brooklyn, you know, then we went, you know, we, we figured it out. We figured it out, but always was entrepreneurs. You know, we did the nine to five. She was like an HR manager for some big company, um, a French company, because she speaks French, you know, okay. and, 
Yeah, and then I worked for the bank. I worked for Chase Bank. And I was a banker. And yeah, you know, um, did that to the point where when Washington Mutual was bought out back in 2008, 2009 mm -hmm. from Chase, I transferred to Georgia to operate down here. So that's how that's how we left New York. It was because of banking. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. This is what black love look like. This is black love. <laughs> You said you moved down here in 2008? 2009. The bank got taken over in 2008, and it was like a recession. It was a lot of, it was a lot of, um, a lot of mergers, a lot of fit. Like, it was a recession, bro. You, if you right. have a recession, what it was, yeah. Correct the, the economy. Definitely corrections. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you no, know, I'm going to do y'all know anyone down here in Georgia? No. Not really. No, nah, I mean, we, we we had like distant families and relatives, but everyone came after. And once yeah, that's people, how, yeah, that's how it was with me, man. Uh, I had moved down here and I'm from Chicago. Shot town. Yeah, so I moved down here in 2003. Mm. And so after that, my father moved down here with me. <laughs> and about yeah. several re re relatives moved down here with yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know and we don't was, follow I, the leaders. Absolutely. I say, I say. And I, I remember, I remember when he um what we used to do is we used to have like uh planning meetings, I think it was, and um with each other. So we used to have some projections with but life just in general. We didn't do it wasn't just about business or money. And I remember he was like, Look, this is the idea. Do you trust me? I was like, hey, let's roll with it. Yeah. How? Black yeah, how? Bro. And that's it. We just and laughed. Our Brooklyn apartment. Brooklyn, Brooklyn apartment, apartment yeah, man. I remember. I remember. Yeah. 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 Come up, the, the movie, the movie going to be even better. <laughs> you so, yeah, man. It's, it, it's real. It's real. It was yeah. real, man. It was tough decisions to make, man. So, all through the years, you know, even now. Still but, making decisions. Yeah, especially. Post COVID, we still here breathing. You know, anybody that's still alive now, you know, we we carry all of that stuff, all of that trauma, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like just, just everything, bro. You know the shit that happened in Buffalo the other day. We carry it. You know what I'm saying? We holding on to that right now. So that's it, bro. Uh, speak to how it feels to have a backbone, both of y'all, because one and one is one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How does it? What's the benefits of being with your counterpart that's a hundred percent while you are her hundred percent in reverse during all of the the trials and tribulations and the come up? Yeah. Yo, so it's interesting because when we got together, like she instantly got pregnant, you know, so it was like the little bit of time it was just us. We may, I, I want to say it was like another word. Like it was so long ago, right? Because like I said, we just went straight into raising children, you know, young. And um, it's just learning, you know what I'm saying? How to like move with a person. Like the words ain't got to get said. Like it's a trust thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, that trust is everything, bro. That communication is even more important. And um, that's it. Like at this point, 19 years later, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to put in time. You feel me? So 19 years later, we we know each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then we always rediscovering it because I'm learning who I am. To, like, yeah, but then you got a business. Part. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the and we got to keep reintroducing yeah. ourselves to each other. Yeah. You know, because there yeah, be them times, man, it's crucial. Like, there's times in the business where decisions got to be made. You feel me? And she's a chef. Like she went to school for this, Le Cordon Bleu, bro. Like she graduated Magna Cum Laude. Like she's official, like what her thing. Absolutely. Yeah, she went to Habesha, got her urban agriculture certificate. Like she knows what she knows. I know. I can tell we ate the food. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then I'm I'm the one that's passionate. You know, I got a different passion about me. I just love business. I love taking care of my people. I love serving, you know, and I'm grateful that I got a, a queen like her, you know, to do what she does and hold me down. So I hold her down. She supports me 100%. When I say oh, I want to write a book, I want to take a trip. I want to do anything. Like she's never 
ever questions it. You know, she solid, bro. She holds me down, man. That's it. And you know, and you know one thing that I noticed, not only is the food good good there, but the prices are reasonable. <laughs> Till yeah. this day. Yeah, yeah, compared to other um, vegan spots. Yeah. I got some uh, reasonable prices, man. Thank you, oh, brother. Thank you. Well, I wish we... I stayed on that side of town closer back in the <laughs> car, <laughs> man. So it's hard to get that but yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, man, course, yeah. Nah, bro, it's, it's 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 not easy, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so I appreciate you respecting that and, and acknowledging that because you got other people that try to take advantage too, our people, like you know, like you give them an answer, take a mile kind of thing, but at, right. the, at the end of the day, you know, we, we know what our mission is, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And affordability was part of it. So that's why we focus on hyper local, super local, because that gas price, you get what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like it, it's right. the roof. So it, it yeah, if we, we, we got to think about that. We might do, we wound up doing like a recycling program, bring your own bag, bring your own cup, whatever. You get a discount on the food. Oh, nice. Right. These are things that we have to do, you know? Yeah. Right. right. Not, it, it, the accessibility to the food is available to our people because the prices, the price went up, bro. Yeah, price went up. Price yeah, I know the price of food right. went up. Yeah, it went up. The raw goods went up. Everything is. You can't find the same things you we yeah. had before. You know, so supply chain is definitely in the in the shuffle right now. Yeah, and we just know that um, our our end goal matters, so we we try to make sure that we're doing the best that we can for our people. There you go. Right. So you Madeline, go. you said something I want to touch on. Because mm -hmm. I don't hear too many women say that. You said he had the plan. I'm sure you had more in it too, but you what what made you trust him? What 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 gave you the the comfortability to throw the dice? And and trust your man for the life mission. You know, the first time y'all jump in the deep part of the water, he said, "Don't worry, we gonna swim to the other side." Yeah. What, what made you trust him? I think um, what was important was the fact that um, there was this trust in myself to know that I had the right decision to make when it when it came to a partner. So that trust within myself, I was like, I know I wasn't, I know me, I know I'm not, I'm not dating no cornball. Right. And I know I'm not dating no weak person. So if I can solidify that in me and I can trust that, I can definitely look and know when a person can be trusted. But then he also, like there was, there was a, there was a checklist in, in, in the sense that he had shown me several times that, oh, okay, he said he was gonna do this, all right, check, he got it. Oh, he yeah, said yeah. we're gonna get here, okay, we got here. So I think it was more of the, of the knowing myself and understanding that there's a vision that I saw that I wanted to lead within life and knowing that my partner has actually you know checked all those things that he, he did, I didn't say it. He said he was going to do it. And he actually did it. At that point, you have to give you got you have to give flowers where flower where seeds were planted. So if he planted them seeds, I sowed them and I gave him his flowers. I gave it to him. You have to keep going that way, because if not, what else is there? No this family. combativeness don't make sense. Like, it's like, just trust him to do what he said he was going to do. Yeah. I said I was going to rear these children and pop them out. I did that. So. Yeah, yeah. man, the man in his word. You got your garden. Man, the got man in his word. That there is you it. Go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Yeah, it matters, bro. It matters, family. Word. What inspired y'all to uh, open up Green Love? The initial idea. Like, from the day before you even thought of it. All right, I'm gonna say this because I know we've been kind of jumping around. I know we got a new brother on the on the call right now. That's Dion, y'all. That's knowledge. He 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 That's added to store a couple of times. Okay, knowledge born. Peace, God. How you doing? How you doing, brother? How you doing, hey, sister? Doing well. How are you? Yeah. So um yeah. So I'm I'm gonna start off when we came down here from New York, right? Mm -hmm. So our family. I'm I'm Jamaican. My wife is Haitian. We come from a line of cooks, you know. I see. Yeah. 
What'd you say? Now nah, you said something. What'd you say? I said, Sapase. Oh, not Boule. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. There you go. So her mom cooked like so. We, so we we just know how to cook. We love to eat, and um, that's just that's something that we just did for fun. But when I came down here, I worked in the Chase, right? And one of my coworkers was going to these more of a science uh, temple classes down in, in um, Little Five Points. Y'all been with a WRG building? Yeah, yeah. Classes there. Yeah. These malls or what have you. And but the day I first came to the class. Cause I ain't know nothing about this. I'm coming from New York City. Like we about hustling, getting money, taking care of your family. We live real life. You know what I'm saying? So like we was out in the streets, we was doing real things with real people. And you know, we was getting harassed and you know what I'm saying? Just going through the, 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 the motions, right? Same shit. So I grew up God body, you know what I'm saying? My elders and people that was in the street was God body. That's the time I came up in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the streets I was in. So came down here and Brother KT, the arts degree, was talking about your diet and how, like, the digestive system, you know, how it's set up. And he's just breaking down some heavy science, right? So I, I walked up to KT, introduced myself. I said, yo, family, like, I want, I'll tell me more kind of thing, right? We fresh, fresh out of New York, don't know nobody down here. We're just out here. And um, I called them the next day. He's like, look, I'm going to put you in contact with my mother, Right? I called his mom, Mama Pill. Mama Pill. You know what I'm saying? Miss Annette. This is 10 years ago, 11 years ago. <laughs> she met us at the Cat Farmer's Market. That was our first time going there. And she literally had this envelope folded telling us, like, this is a hybrid. This is GMO. This is electric. It was a this is alkaline. Blood. You know what I'm saying? She blessed us with oxyhemo that, that, that was good for your blood. And she was just breaking all this high science down telling us about Dr. Sebi. You know, that was our introduction to Dr. Sebi because once again, she worked with Sebi in the eighties, making the formulas, right? So that's how that's how we got on this electric food wave. My wife being, you know, the, 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 the master culinary artist she is, my mom moved down, eventually my peoples moved down. Like, so we had a pack house damn it, every day and we was like, yo, look, we're eating different now. So y'all in our house, we need y'all to respect that because we got children and we don't want to confuse the children. You know what I'm saying? This is how we doing it, right? So my mom, you know, got with it and my sister got with the program. You know, everybody just started eating healthy. And then someone made a suggestion like, yo, y'all should vent at Black August Fest, right? That's and that's how we started, man. We started vending and the, like we made everything. She made baby. Vegan cinnamon buns, mm -hmm. lasagna, uh, rundown. The, the, the kale wrap that y'all got today at the restaurant, the OG Green Love kale wrap was there, you know, and that's how we started. And, you know, like to fast forward the story, she gets, you know, like that's her, my, it was my mother and my wife that started the restaurant. You know, it was them two cooking, and this is me just supporting, you know what I'm saying, doing what I can in between time, doing the marketing, doing the um the flyers because we're doing catering. Yeah. And yeah, I mean that's that was the catering company. She could tell Yeah, me. so we started off at, as uh, a catering company, um, and we called it uh organically family. And we that's how we, when we started to vend, we were organically family, and um um and I remember sitting in the great room one day talking to Javon and we were thinking about yes because his mom was like I really think we should go ahead and you know start a restaurant because we were trying to get some contracts for catering and at that time I did not have my uh, my culinary degree and we tried to get a contract with one of I think Decap County to serve or to cater and um I remember the sister telling me, she was like, look, where, what is your background when it comes to food? And I was like, besides the fact that I can cook. And she was like, yeah, but if, if I had someone who went to culinary schools contract um, or invoice versus, yeah. versus yours, I'm going to have to pick the person with the accolades. So then I went back to Javon. And at that time, I think we had, um, we just had our son, our last child, right? Mm -hmm. 
And I said, um, look, this is, this is going to be a difficult feat if we don't have, you know, that paperwork. So I said, you know, what, what do you think about me going to culinary school? And he said, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it. And that's, there you go. By that time I quit my job, I got in a mm-hmm. car accident on my way to work and I never went back, you know, it was homeschooling the children. Yeah. While I was going to school. Yeah. We had our son at home, you know, so it was yeah. like that shift taking place. Exactly. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and then it was, um, as soon as culinary school ended, I, I think mom and I and Javon sat down and it was like, look, I really think we could do this. And then Javon was like, what do you, what would we call it? And I was like, our last name is green. Vegan is green. We make food love and it's going to be in the kitchen. Let's do this. Green love kitchen. And that's it. It was literally right there in that room. (laughs) And um, he was like, I like it too. And mom said it was game. So forward movement it was. And um, it (laughs) And and boy was it was it was it forward movement. It was not linear for sure. It definitely was uh, ups and downs, zigzags before we could open anything. Um, but we did. But we ended up opening. Yeah. It, it was it was very difficult to even open these doors, and many people don't understand how hard, right? How extremely extremely difficult it is. Not only to start with a build out, but to get those doors open, the amount of hoops you have to go through, some of them will be on fire. Some of them are sharp. You just have to keep going through them and you go through them. And it's emotionally and financially draining. Before you even open the door, you already beaten up. Like they done screwed with you. They beat you up. And yet you like like for for a black family to open up a restaurant everybody should just support and come in because the things for them to actually go through was so was some sometimes how yeah she did it she did it. i didn't do it like she did it Thank you. I want to see a green love kitchen on every side of town in Atlanta I say, I say, in Cobb County man I say. you say you're in Cobb you want out here in Cobb County Gotcha. Word up, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, but fam, like, she she kind of skipped the part where it was like, yo, we, when we was vending and catering, it was like mostly white people. Right. Like, buying from us. Like, that that we were doing weddings for. We was like, yo, why is that? So we did a study, and we learned about food deserts, or they call food insecurity zones. Mm -hmm. And we found out our zip code was a food desert. So that's why we was like, yeah, we're going to be in our, we looking for something in our backyard first. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Yeah. That's probably you do that. Cause uh, I'm a firm believer, I, you know, cause I'm a black business owner myself, me and yeah. my wife. You yeah. know, uh, I'm not going to go, we not going to go to where the white people are. They were, if they go come shot with us, they going to have to come to where we at. You know what I'm saying? Go. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's and basically that's how it went. Um, we decided that if we wanted to see the change, we were going to start with our own house, which is our neighborhood. And, um, you know, everybody wanted us to go to the Buckheads and the Decatur. That's a dime a dozen. And we're going to get there. That's going to be the cash cows. But we got to stay the home base. Yeah, yeah we, ha- we had to focus on home. Um, yeah. Lithonia is our home and we have to focus on that. It wasn't little. It wasn't something that was negotiable. Yeah, man, it's it's it's, it's been real. It's been real. It's you know, been, it's been nah, we, we call those war scars. So we, we we check everybody on to see if you have war scars. Okay, um, okay. So All these burns. The I got them. Yes, I, got got burns. Burns. I, got burns. <laughs> I got some burns for you. Yeah. No nah, Yeah. Um. Why is it important to eat live food? Because we're alive, bro. Because we, we need, look, life is for the living. Yeah. Life is for the living. You know what I'm saying? So that's that to me is the first thing. There's definitely this understanding. Like for me, when we got the information, right, just like anything else that's new, you become a fanatic mm-hmm. and you like dive right in. And then you like, okay, you got to be mindful 
because the shit they passing on is um yeah, it was cool to curse. Uh, my bad. Yeah, 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 you can curse. Yeah. Hey, cool. You've been cool. cussing this. I've been cussing. Time. My bad. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, like it, it, it's it wasn't sexy to be vegan or raw or any of that when we was you know, started. And our menu reflected that. You know what I'm saying? Like we sold meat in our right, like half our menu was was um had like meat. It was like turkey subs and jerk like it was what you know, it had half meat and then it was mm-hmm. the kale and the smoothies and the salads. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a balance because we understood the community that we were at, mm-hmm. we were in. And we want to meet our people where they were. You know, so that was that was our, our mission, our claim. Like we wasn't, we ain't no judge because you got these elitists, you know what I'm saying? You got these people and, and, and because they know something, they think they're better than, you know. So like right. I said. For me, it was like, okay, we want we want this thing to translate where our people can. It don't matter what you eat. You can eat whatever you want to eat. But when you come here, you know, you're getting, like my brother said, live foods. You know, you get live food in your smoothie. You get live food in your wrap. You get live food in the hot bar, you know. And that's it. Like, create that, that healthy balance, you know. And um, vegan became sexy. And people started looking for it, right? And, you know, you got Google and, and, and those things. But for us, it was really and truly, like, just just like my wife trusted me, we trusted Sabi and Mama Pill and KT. And it was it's just like everything else, you know what I'm saying? Like, it because we African people have been, you know what I'm saying? Like, in these days and times, how many times... Folks don't lie to us. Other folks don't lie to us about whether it be the food pyramid, right? Because I went to school. I went to public school, and I remember seeing that food pyramid. And it was a lot of acidic, dead shit on that pyramid. But this is what they was feeding us, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't trust them. I, let me trust my people. Let me trust Dr. Sabi and his teachings. And then the proof was in the pudding. Like in the 80s, he was at, in Congress, you know, showing proof that, hey, yeah. I'm able to do, the food is able to do this. The body can do this if you put the right things in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We don't eat. We don't eat to live. Right. We live to eat. No, pardon. We don't live to eat. We eat to live. Yeah. There you go. Hey, I got a question, man. Like for, for um. Like, what advice would, would you give? I say, like, for uh, to a person like me, I'm struggling with it. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables in my uh, smoothies. But sometimes yeah. I don't eat no red meat, period, no pork and no beef, period. And I'm really straight away from uh, trying to uh, stray away from the chicken, the fried foods. I've been doing all right. But every once in a while, I still crave to eat some, some meat. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's respect. Not, it's not like I used to. But I, I'm, I'm I'm breaking it down, but you know, I'm struggling with it. You know what I mean? Like, what advice would you give to a person like me? I would say to give yourself grace and remember that your body in, in a transitional state will know what it needs. So if you're craving meat, just you don't have to indulge. But if it gets to the point where you're you're in this cycle where you eat it and then you judge yourself try not to judge yourself. Sometimes our, we know our body. Like there are some times where I would say, oh my goodness, I need water. And I'm going to go get me some water just to make my body feel what it wants. So just don't judge yourself. I think it's, I think we get to the point where like Javon says, we do become so fanatic, just fanatic with these, these systems. Um, And one of the things that I always tell, like I say, I say it to my uh, sister, like there's, you know, there's uh, vegan, vegetarian. I'm not part of any of these Aryans. Okay. There's no Aryans that I'm a part of. So I'm mostly just someone who likes to eat plant-based. I prefer to eat mostly plant-based and I'm not going to judge myself. If I say to myself, I'm going to indulge, or I'm going to say my body needs this. Just don't judge yourself. I think you just give yourself grace. This is there's a lot of things coming and we are bombarded by not just not just 
the food itself, but also the commercials. And also every single publication, every social media is people cooking. Just, we know memory. We, we, let's all at, stop acting like we didn't eat none of this. Right, right. Our body has that memory. So just give yourself grace. And you're doing a good job, okay? I'm here to tell you you're doing a good job. You've cut out so much. Right. So when you when you do indulge, just, just don't go through the process of furthering your own troubles by judging yourself. You're doing a great job. All right, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, go to Green Love and get that black bean burger. <laughs> I had that too. I had the black bean burger. That too. That too. I had that too. I had the black bean burger one time, and then the last two times, um, I had the kale wraps. I, I just love it, but, but man, I, I always love it. Oh, thank you. All that shit good. Thank you. Thank you. I got a question. What what you said to the um to the brothers out there that struggle with sugar? Don't wow, sugar is a drug, brother. Um, same thing my wife just said. Give yourself grace. Like to add what to what my wife was saying. And yo, know, this the our our diet is what's really the issue. Is sugar, salt, you know what I'm saying? Our environment that we're in. So these things could like it contributes, bro. But my thing is detox, know how to detox. That's I what I always to have detox, to tell yeah. people. Um that's, I'm why, that's why I tell, that's why I tell my brother to detox and need to kill the cravings. That it's a start. It's a start. You know what I'm saying? It's a start. Yeah. Yeah. And because you just want to reset your, your tongue, reset right. your palate. So when you do get something that's a little sweet or really sweet, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, your sense is just going, your sense is going to fire off. Like, damn, it's, you know, like I'm, I haven't been touching it. Yeah. So like detoxing is good. You know, it's funny you say that about the sugar, though. We actually just started actually selling a detox drink, you know, with no sugar in it. You know, so it's like. Cayenne pepper, lemon, cinnamon, ginger, you know, and um, for that reason, so you get that app like that. You, you got your regular drinks that you're used to, but you also can do, a you know, like a detox. And then um, my brother, Black Blue Tonic, we got a tonic in the restaurant. I got these wild herbs in it, you know, like blue vervain, sarsaparilla, you know, burdock, yellow dock, see, like all, all these different herbs. And the, uh, the herbs you just called out, man, that's for the man, ain't it? Hey, <laughs> we need it, bro. Okay, I mean, it has it has benefits for sisters as well. But yeah. I'm a man, you know. Like I, it, yeah, we need it. it. It cleans the blood, you know, it's full right. of iron and all of that stuff. You know, yeah. And with the detox minimum, at least you should do at least three days. Three days, yeah. Just just to give your your palate a reboot. It's I know it's difficult for some. Um. But if we learn how to do it every season, like at, at the turn of the season, do a three to seven day fast. Cause um yeah, Afia, Afia Sticks wife, she she she's the one that reminds Cycle. me yeah. every season that we have to do a detox. Cause she posted, she's like, Okay, I'm it's on my time. seven day. Yeah. It's about to be spring. I'm on my you probably it's summer. switch up your diet even, you know, yeah. with the seasons. And that's and cool. that's all you have to remember. Just and and what can help also is to go seasonal with your food. Yeah. When you go seasonal with your food, you'll see the difference. The things that you sh you you shouldn't be eating are a lot more expensive, and because it's out of season. Because it's out of season, so it's it's being forced to grow, and then it would literally limit your choices. Once you start saying I'm going to eat seasonal, you will start curving a lot of different foods like in the summer it's it's much more of those watery fruits and less less starch because you don't want that heaviness because you know as we eat we start to sweat based on how much work the body is giving and that yeah, yeah and and eating heavy during the warmer seasons will make you uncomfortable but if you see if you eat seasonally you'll see the difference the more hardier things are in the winter, which allows you to sweat, which makes you a little warmer. So, yeah. So if we follow our seasons, we can definitely be become a lot healthier as well. Mm -hmm. What what about um what about eat right for your blood type? I think it, it I think it, it matters for for some. I do, but remember you we also are are how do you call it? 
implants from another place. Is that yeah. what am I saying? Yeah. I'm sorry. When I when I talk, I don't speak English in my head. <laughs> so I asked him. Yeah. I asked him to translate. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So we're, we're we're taking from different different countries and different continents. We have to remember that as well. Um, I I really we know that our blood is completely different from I guess other cultures the world, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah I I believe remember medical books and certain books are usually made for Caucasians so unless it's literally written by an indigenous African I really would just be like huh I'm, I'm gonna take it with a grain of salt yeah. but if it works Remember, if it works for you and you trust that in it and you tr- you, you know yourself benefit, yeah. and you, you see the benefit, it, yeah. there's nobody that can tell you anything. I can't tell you. Your own doctors can't tell you because it's, it's you know, man, know thyself. You have to know yourself first before you start reading anything. Know what it feels like. Know what when something comes into your body, you know what the what the reaction is. You need to know yourself first before someone in a white coat or anyone or even me in a chef coat could tell you anything. Right. One last question. Is it, um, is it, um, I, I read a couple of books like the mucus, the muc, the mucus diet by Arnold Eworth. I also read, um, eat to live and, um, and, um, I read some of Sabi stuff too on dealing with mucus. Now, do we supposed to strip our body totally of mucus? How much mucus is allowed? Again, it's about it's about knowing yourself. There's there's yeah, mucus lining. Balance. It's yeah. it's it's the balance. Okay. There yeah. we can't be we can't get be too alkaline. We can't be too alkaline. Yeah, alkaline. We, yeah, you can't, yeah, you hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, oh, alkalosis. Al- alkalosis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me ask you why. Um, <laughs> as far as like um, shout out to KT the arch degree. <laughs> KT the arch degree. I have, I have one more question. One more question. Yeah. Uh, as far as like um, starchy foods like rices and like potatoes, you know, I really don't eat it. But what about like stuff like um, jasmine rice and buy some mighty rice and like um, um, the orange sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes are amazing, brother. But them all, them life. All, yeah. Sweet potatoes are life. Eat it I, every day. Every day. Cool. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so potatoes, potatoes are also considered a, a prebiotic as well. Um, the if you if you put it in the fridge and then reheat it up, it's it's such a good prebiotic. It helps when you take a probiotic after um, after eating potatoes because it actually helps activate the probiotics. Didn't know that until I read a book the about white it. potatoes. Them, them, them Idaho potatoes. But you also have to understand if you are susceptible to um, diabetes, those starches will always turn into sugar. Yeah. Just, you right. can't have too much of everything anything. or anything. anything. Yeah. But we, we do know that starch is needed for the body to actually work. You know, you can't be starchless either. Now, when it comes to any form of your grains, the reason why we're also metabolizing it improperly is because we are not soaking it the correct way. Even in the other cultures, the cultures that actually created these rice, the Indians, um, the African rice, Asians, we, the yeah, Asians, yeah. We, we don't soak our rice. What we do is we just either, some of us just wash it, but most of the time would, what would be great is if you can soak it, drain it, and then rinse it, soak it overnight, Right. Drain it and then rinse it out. What that those particles and the starch, That's the starch just yeah. removes itself from it, and then you're able to actually break it down within your system. It's just so too much starch at once. So is that that's the regular white rice? Or oh, or I don't do jasmine or basmati like you. Or black rice. You only eat jasmine and basmati. Uh, bas- eat, eat rice. That's that's that's, that's, the rice. that's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. It's so um, I was told that we even have to soak them them type of rices for at least thirty minutes too, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All, all your grains, quinoa, preferably quinoa. twenty four okay. hours. Um, black rice, twenty four hours. You just need to soak all yeah, of those food, grains. Yeah, like prep. You know that prep work. Oh so, yeah, soak the rice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
it may it might take days, you know, then you bring up probiotics. Like, why is that important? You know, your gut health. Yeah, that's your that's, that's, that's the second that's the brain. First brain. Most mm-hmm. people say yeah. it's your first it's brain. It's your first brain. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of depression that's going on and it's about the it, fact that our guts are just out of whack yeah and that's making the decisions you know more like think about it right though they say the low chakras right that's what right. most people are operating on good night baby all right baby yeah so you know that's part of it speaking of generational wealth don't go too deep but big up your kids real quick i want them to hear their name on this so we have our college goer. Yeah, my baby got accepted into UConn, yo. She's going to UConn. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> scholarship. Gabrielle Green. Gabby Green. Gabby Green. She worked at the restaurant. She worked at the restaurant. She's the she's she's a she was our cashier yeah. since she was 10. We see you. Yeah, then we got then we got um my middle child, Natalie Green. That's the one we that's just Nats. said goodnight to. Leslie. Yeah, she went to bed. Hi, and Natalie. Yeah, then my son, John Nesta Green. So it's Nesta right there. Yeah, that's it. How you spell your last name? Same way you spell it. Oh, you saw my name? I saw your name. I saw <laughs> it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah before, before, um, before, um, before Grant, Grant died, um, he told me, he said all Greens were related. I say, I believe say all greens were related. He was he was big on that. Like, you know, we got people in Mississippi, man, Arkansas, Louisiana, and we got people everywhere, man. We had like this big family reunion one year, man. I met what? so many people. Yeah, we had it was in um it was in Frank Holden Park in um uh, in East St. Louis, Illinois. Okay, man, uh, we we had we we had a section of the park like covered. Wow. I met like like a lot of the ancient, like like now I ain't gonna say ancient, but the, you know, elders and elders, the elders, yeah. Yeah, the elders. yeah. And I met um I mean we even had a couple of people coming out of Mississippi, man. And I mean it's just crazy. It was like a lot of people. We was a lot of food. When I say a lot of everybody like fixed different stuff and oh, that's hot. You no, know, that was the last one we had. I remember that was when I was younger though. But yeah, you know, Grant Grant said all greens are related. You know, and um, he went off into like, you know, how we came here and, you know, how we came from, uh, we all came from different islands. We were split up exactly. and, and how we found each other. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was just crazy, though, man. You, I didn't know you saw my name. No, you said green. I know you said <laughs> Yeah, it was crazy. I went to um, St. Helena Island out in um, Buford, South Carolina, and I learned the history of like the ports. How like yeah a lot of the a lot of how South Carolina and the Caribbeans are connected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know the people are so connected. But yeah, man, I mean I I agree. I believe the same thing. Yeah. And then you got the greens with the e at the end. Yeah, know? he 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 said he said those are the um imposters. Exactly. That's what that's I- what Grant. <laughs> yeah, Grant said that. Grant. Grant yeah. We call, we call him uh where well, his where well, his his street name was Mark Killer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a rough dude, man. He didn't play, man. He was um pretty big. And then my mom's, my mom's mother husband, he he was he was known as the man in Mississippi, man. When that when when you wanted, you know, some some uh, Wazungus or Europeans to disappear, he was the man you called. <laughs> make it happen. Stop. You make it all the way out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, in the, he in the ancestral realm now, is what you're telling me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. okay. I got one for you. Uh, my wife's a green. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sister Shep is a green. Yep. Yeah. She a Jelena. Wow. So, man, it's it's crazy how we all connected, man. It's crazy. I mean, like, Deep. I met Ken, I met Rebel, I <laughs> everybody, man. What I said, they, they, yo, it's about time. Yo, look, we, we, yo, we met before. Yeah, we got to yeah. get a little, little war together um, a couple of years back, man. Yeah. Get the I black dog, man. <laughs> no, yeah. The same. yeah, I remember that. Um, yeah. I still got my thing, bro. Yeah, me too. I got my, I got mine in our store, man. Oh, nice, we man. Nice, nice store, nice. man. We family on the low. But we yeah. still family on the low, man. It's yeah. crazy because we all. That's do, dope, man. We all, we all do business together. Yeah. We all been cool. Yeah. 
And you know, we and we are and, and, and I can say, man, we all are alpha males, but we learn how to be agreeable and disagreeable. And what we do is we, you know, we 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 believe in the, the brother thing, you know, hey. If, if you got more wisdom in this, then man, it's your show. If you got more yeah. wisdom, it's your yeah, show. Look, yo, Rebel, yes, last week, right? Like, I got my own network, YouTube, you know, Rebel, what I do. Right away, I got right on it, subscribe to it, you know what I'm saying? Right you, you, put, right you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what we supposed to do as a people, Come man. On. We supposed to support each other, for real. Yeah, bro, like this and, is... Yeah, and yeah. what yeah. hurt me, it's a, as far as the whole, it's a lack of that, man. You know what I mean? We need to support each other to survive. You know Take what, man? Going speak, on, man. Life. speak life, bro. We do. I'm going to speak life and say that we do. We you do. Know? Like, we do. We got to give ourselves an opportunity to, though. You know what I'm saying? So That's true. You know, and like, yo, I'm telling you, man, it's a new day, man. So this is, to me, I'm, I'm honored to be on your show, Rebel. Appreciate you for having me. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Good job, man. Oh, I got one more, two more questions, though. Oh, come oh, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, since we all family now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we all see Green Love Kitchen going in the next five to ten years. Like, what, what, what is the vision for the restaurant? This is the business person. Go ahead. Ah, uh, that's funny. Yo, so, man, that's, that's a deep question. I can't even think that far. I ain't going to lie to you. All yeah, over man, the world, man. man. Next five years. You know. No, no, no. What I what I'm saying, like business wise, I think that, like for me, I'm just plotting on the next six months for now. Right, right. You know because we've been in, we've been here for six years, going on seven, but it feels like that 2022 thing. Yeah. Part of me, 2020 pandemic, like it just reset so much that nothing makes you know. what I'm saying you yeah. can't think. Yeah. Like and then the Russian war, like you gotta pay. It's, we paying attention, like we all feeling the gas price and, like I right. said, all of that. So for yeah. us, just like keep the doors open, make sure we can pay our people, right? Our employees. Yeah. So we want to hire a couple more people because we've been here before. You get what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm happy that we're able to scale back the way we can because we're still small. Mm-hmm. Like we we are happy that we're a small black owned business in a small community. Taking care of small them like we, you know what I'm saying? We we cool with that for now until further notice. Like we gotta because our hours are what from 12 to 4 yeah. to Saturday. Because we in there, you get yeah. what I'm saying? Like we ain't gonna just hand it over to anybody and then we lose right. Our- I feel you on that that was my next question, man. You know, y'all y'all close up at like four o'clock, so yeah, we get know, a couple of you know. Yeah, we like, man, I wish I would people. stay open till about seven to eight o'clock sometime, but put the word out. We hiring. Yo, I'm green the word love out. Is hiring. Yeah, I'm putting the word green out. Is hiring. Hiring. Put the word out. Green love is hiring, man. Y'all put come on, bro. I'm on work. <laughs> put the word out. I mean, so so yeah. they could stay open up to eight or nine o'clock, man. For we could like be open up right before the pandemic. We were seven to seven. We were doing, we started. I, going I remember. Well, you. Yeah, you were. I remember that. Yeah, I, I remember out. a couple of yeah. times while yeah. we had an event at the Black Dot, and you know, that's when I came to patronize your business. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It, it, it's only because of the times we're in, we had to make the ships, and that's life. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. Yep, I understand wise, that, yeah, I understand that. We would like to have multiple multiple spaces. We're definitely putting the sauces in bottles and creating some type of market, you know, so we're going to have fresh produce, sauces, you know, the tonics, you know, just focusing on, you know, just doubling down on the mission, getting some, dealing with local farmers to get, you know, local produce. So I got watermelons. I don't know if y'all follow the Instagram who's having watermelons with the seeds in them. You know, in right. the spot for you guys to get. Seeds, yeah. seeds. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> like it's crazy. You gotta say that now, right? Like you gotta. Yeah. Hey, 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 Rock, hey, hey, Rock. Rockefeller said he don't want nothing with a seed in existence anymore. Rockefeller, yeah, the rock, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, right. it's a whole yeah. conglomerate. They ain't concert. Yeah, I don't even, man, I don't even eat, man. I don't mean be eating no fruit without no seed, no grapes. All they see is grapes and seed is watermelon. Yeah, doing that. Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah, but people buy it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people buy the it. The moment we stop buying it, they stop selling it to us. But see, people don't. People don't really be thinking though. Hey, something. see what I mean? People don't think like how we think. Yeah, if, if it don't have a seed in it, where did it come from? 
Mm. Where did it grow from? Think about Thomas it. Sense uh, that lab. Common sense, high mm-hmm. science. Dr. Jewel Pukum yeah, would say that. On, man. Dr. Jewel Pukum would say that. Like common sense is high science. But yep. well, we we also is. understand that they are always going to target the food because we just said that the way to our brain, our first brain is right here in our, in our gut. gut. So how do they control us by what we eat? So it's like and if you think that way. Not only that, in, in our communities, in, in our communities, melanated people, man, you see about five different restaurants in the fast food restaurants in like a two block radius. That's that's a definition of a food desert. Yeah. Like, like it's like no access to fresh fruits and vegetables and walking yeah. distance. Right. On top of that, you got nothing but an them, influx. Uh, influx of those fast food spots yeah. chains and they write it like you said it, it's, it's the blueprint for disaster yeah. liquor stores are there yeah. Yeah. and then what you find when they did when um michelle obama did the study and it, it was publicized before that it was speculated it was conspiracy mm-hmm. theory but once you get the numbers to to correlate it literally shows you that you got all this going on and at the same time education Kind of education rates is bad, right? Poverty levels usually low, yeah. is that or as high? Excuse me. Then you got real estate is, is you know depreciated values, mm-hmm. crime, all of that stuff. We can't think right because we can't. We're not eating right. We're, we're angry. dehydrated. We're angry. We, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? You're not you when you're hungry. You're not. I tell you that. You know. You're when you're hungry, put yeah. that on the shirt. Hey, that part merch, merch is coming, right? Merch is coming. Okay, <laughs> there you go, man. But hiring, man, hiring our people, man, hiring and 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 growing that way, you know, just like getting the sauces and you know, e commerce and stuff. But other than that, man, just taking care of the neighborhood, man. So what, what's your IG so I can follow you? Yeah, give it to the family. Uh, Green, Green Love Green Kitchen, Green Love Kitchen on IG. I follow them on, uh, yeah. I'm going, follow, I'm going to refollow them all on our mm-hmm. business page too, man. Appreciate that, man. I follow you back, man. Once you hit it, I I, I check it, it out. Can't write up soon. I put it in green, man. That's the algorithm, man. That part. It, I mean, it could have been a lot of greens. <laughs> so I put it. Look, I'm serious. So I put it in green. It can't. You probably can't see my phone. I got the, the filter on. But it said it. Yeah, it was green number green one. Kitchen. Listen. Hey, I mean, it, it worked. The algorithm. I'm, that's man, I'm, I'm sick of them. Sick of them listening to me, man. I'm about to block everything. <laughs> Please do. Please do. Well, even if you try, like they still listening. <laughs> it's the times we in, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's scary. But I literally just typed in that green, man. You was like the third choice, man. That's impossible. I, I know there's got to be other million greens on Instagram, <laughs> but there's only one green love. So you have the third person, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I ain't even, yeah, yeah, I ain't even type in love. Wow, yeah, it was green. The third, it was, yeah, it was third, third, third from the top. It it's working, man. It's working. It's a lot of searching. Yeah. But so what else, Rebel? Any more questions? What else you want to build on, brother? I'm here, man. You got me. What's up? Talk All right, I got you. Uh, what you think about the uh the the, the last week's uh shooting? Uh, at at, Buffalo at um Buffalo supermarket. Okay, so I'm I, what I'm gonna do is right. I'm gonna flip the script. I'm gonna talk about that, but I'm gonna also ask a question. There's a rapper by the name of Freddie Gibbs, right? right? Y'all heard about what happened to Freddie Gibbs? Yeah, he well, got jumped on Freddie the over in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, Benny the Butcher, right? Benny the Butcher, right. yeah, Buffalo, right? His crew, yeah. That's yeah, what they right? say was Benny the Butcher and their crew. Is, is something going on, right? These rappers, right, are up there and they fight. We we doing it to each other, right there. But Buffalo is not big. It's not big at all. It's, it's, it's not a big place. You know what I'm saying? So that was unfortunate with that white dude doing that. You know, God you bless you. Was yeah. I mean, I, I saw the um. He had a court date today. He had a court date today, and. We already know what is that's about. We know what what, what that sparked up. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, he's just doing the biddings. He's he's a um. He's a minion. He, he's, he's a pawn, a, a, a puppet. Yeah, he, yeah. Somebody he, sent he, that white boy to do that. 
That, that's the point. And he was really supposed to kill himself. He's supposed to off himself at the end of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in his um his his thing in his um manifesto, right? Yeah, yeah. In the manifesto. Yeah. My yeah. My, my theory on it is um dealing with our energy and uh, and us being electrical beings. I got that's my last question I'm gonna have for you. Uh, I got got it in my in my other brain. So <laughs> it's dealing with our energy and and the blood moon, right? So these people real, they know what's real power. They know about energy and they know how to contain it. And I asked, I asked, I asked this one lady this question because she go to church. I say, y'all go to church every Sunday. Everybody go to church and y'all sending up their energy. Y'all calling on their entity name. Yeah. Energy going. She, she didn't have no, no answer for that. I, and I let her know that en- energy creates what you want as far as manifestation. So you constantly calling on this entity name, thinking it's going to do something for you. So eventually you're going to, you're going to manifest that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause, cause words is power on them and vibration, frequency and rhythm. So I, I believe it was more see and to keep melanated people from, from really focusing on the energy of the blood moon. What you feel about that? I mean, you hit it on the head, bro. They find every every opportunity to get to steal our power, bro. Like it's ritual. What they had Mother's Day the other day. Yeah. Every every opportunity they get, they use it to steal our energy. I mean, they do rituals on us all day, every day, and we don't even know it. Them people study us. They've been studying us for years. Yeah, we years. don't know. Us. Longer than that, we don't know us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they've been studying it, and we don't study them. We don't, like you say, we don't know us. Yo, I'm going to tell you something. Like I said, I was doing these Morris classes and all of that, and um, I was knee deep. Yo, study long, study wrong, bro. That's another thing. You got to remember that, you know what I'm saying? Because life is for the living, and it shit is deep because you, you can talk to someone in the church and all of that, and like my wife said, if they believe in it, that's they, that's they God, that's they Jesus. They not going to leave Jesus for nothing. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Like Marcus Garvey said, Malcolm said it too, like keep your religion, have whatever you believe sacred. They ain't got nothing to do with the mission. You black first. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got a mosque in Africa. They got synagogues. They got churches. What you need? Jehovah's Witness Temple, whatever. Buddha temple. Buddha t- whatever you want to believe in. Whoever God you pray to. Keep it sacred to yourself if it means something to you. You know what I'm saying? But put your black first, put your blackness right. first, you know? And yeah. that to me, because you can find parallels in everything, you know what I'm saying? You can find contradictions, parallels, yeah. all of that. These folks, like, back to them, they know it's better than ourselves, but what they do is they put their money where their mouth is. They put, in, like, they invest into the system to keep us this way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trillions of dollars. Trillions of dollars, bro, to keep us in, in this perplexed situation. You know what I'm saying? Have us chasing something that ain't real. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, yeah, bro. Like, like I said, every chance they get, they're going to they gonna, they gonna use it. Every opportunity, they're going to use it to their advantage. And it, it's, it's us against the, They're on a fight. Like, what they're talking about, this, this. Um, like they feel like they're about to die. Like they, they they're doing it because they're desperate. This is not a yeah. new theory, you yeah. know. What I'm this is something that is 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 coming to surface. And if it's coming to surface, that means they they got another plan bigger than this. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. When they plan shit out and it happens, like 9/11 and everything else, that shit was in the works years before. Yes, and this is just the rollout of a thing. You know, so by the time we get to us and everything else, we behind the eight ball again. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we we got to be mindful not to follow that rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should have happened because another shooting happened in California at the same time yep. that shooting happened. Yep. And, and it was in Milwaukee, too. Years. And in Milwaukee, too. In Milwaukee, look, you see what I'm saying? Like, the shit ain't stopping. It's just turning up a notch. And that ain't, yeah. our, that ain't our shit. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be a lot of innocent bystanders. Like it, we done seen it with COVID. We done seen it with everything else. They taking our people out and, and they take their people out too. They do. They they, the now they, now they, do believe, they do believe in the art of war. Casualties of war. Casualties of war. There's collateral damage. 
They got yeah. special names for that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's, it's just what's good for us. What are we doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to build up our fortress and, and our system. You know what I'm saying? Because they they know their time is running out, but we not in our proper position to take the to take a stance, bro. And we 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 like conversations and opportunities like this, because this is what people are meeting at in these mediums, these spaces. Yeah. So that's why we here now. Because 20 years ago, you would have we wouldn't be having a conversation on a computer. <laughs> right. You understand what I'm saying? 15 years ago, we right. wouldn't have been having this very same dialogue, but this is what this affords us. And we going to, we, if you ask me, we do it better than anybody else that do it. You know what I'm saying? Come on. And one thing I was telling Javon, um, I was saying, yeah. Why is it that we're, we're, we're talking about just about our feelings? Why is it, this is not the first time it's happening and we know it's not going to be the last. So why are we not talking about strategies on protection? Why are we not talking about if this is to go down, what's the next step yeah. or what kind of, you know, tactical combat skills are we going to start learning so that when it does come, it's not if, when it does yeah. come to our neighborhood, what are we going to do? Yo, that was Green Love Kitchen in Lithonia. Um, Google it, put it in Facebook, put it in Instagram, you'll find them. That's Javon and Chef Madeline. And I just want to salute them from coming on. And Facts. That was powerful. We're going to get them back maybe once yeah. a while. They come hit us with the the health facts and all that. Maybe some right. new recipes or something. Y'all check them out on Instagram, Green Love Kitchen. Green Love Kitchen. They got that good food. Those are my peoples, man. Yeah, yeah, check them out, man. They family. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give y'all information, man. Yo, y'all can check me out. Knowledge Born 7, also known as DSWA7080 on Instagram. Check out the um, apparel line, Aesthetics, E-S-T-H-E-T-I-K-S Apparel, Instagram and Facebook. And then check out my custom T-shirts and apparel, Elite. Well, right here. Shop. Well, yeah, he right got here. he got that on. I saw I saw 50 of them joints he got on. That's that's that uh that's that to Hootie. But yeah, check check us out. Um, uh, Elite Wardrobe Shop, Instagram and Facebook. You know, we got um, I finally got the line scaled down, man, and it's time to go on, put out this new merch. You know, me and Ken Water got new merch coming, so man, y'all stay tuned. Check us out on all social media platforms. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can, you can um check out my apparel line, me and my queen apparel line, Ken. That's apparel. Candace Apparel on IG as well. You can check us out um, on IG, Sun Goddess underscore Sense. Check us out on Facebook, Sun Goddess Sense like page. And you can hit me up at 470-798-8527. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Uh, you want to holler at me, rebelvision.com. And uh, leave a, a like or share, subscribe. Come to Rebel Vision Television. Join the family. All right. We appreciate that. But brothers, man, good looking out on the show today. Y'all already know how we do. So. Oh. And it's race first, man. Black African power, man. We out of here. Race first, us. Race first, us. I got the mind of a king who should really protect them. Everybody talking, but rebel really the next I got one. the mind of a king who spread the never take this. Slavery, fake hip hop, you dead if you were racist. I got the mind of a king, you could never replace this. Blood from the mud, no love, so I'ma say. I got the mind of a king, I know where I am from now. I'ma wake him up, you keep him sleeping, it's up to me. I got the mind of a king. 